have been using traditional mediums for so many years. I was so surprised when I got an iPad and I started using Procreate. It just blew my mind. It was like just super exciting. And at first I'm thinking to myself, wow, this is very, very different, but actually it's not so different. When I started combining it with traditional materials, in other words, I drew a drawing, I posted a video yesterday, I drew a watercolor, I made a watercolor on handmade paper, Then I and I did a lot of things to it. I used crayons, it's somewhat multimedia, and then I immediately took a photograph of it with my iPad, imported it into Procreate, and started creating with tools that I just don't have because, you know, a crayon is just a crayon. There are brushes in Procreate that are a grid brush, for example, a wave brush, you know, a drip brush. There's all sorts of tools, and this is really an extraordinary addition from the point of view of tools for a painter. It's just mind-blowing to me. So this is another incredible aspect of Web3, it's just the viability, because the business made it viable to have digital paintings that you could sell, the viability of using digital art. My feeling is that it's gonna grow. It's gonna grow in such, we're here at the beginning. I'm just so grateful to be here at the beginning. The beginning is insanely exciting because everyone's excited. All the artists are excited, all the collectors are excited. And every day I wake up, I get on Twitter, and I make friends. I'm friends with all these great artists. Like, you know, I met Jack NFT. Jack NFT is doing incredible digital art. It just blows my mind, and I learn from it. But he's accessible. Here's a guy, I don't know where he is, he's totally anonymous, yet he's sharing his art, and you can message the guy. You can ask him, how did you do that? He's totally friendly. In my experience, everybody's been friendly.